Leonidas I was a Greek warrior king of the Greek city-state of Sparta. He led the Spartan forces during the Second Persian War and is remembered for his death at the Battle of Thermopylae. Leonidas was the third son of Arnexandridas II of Sparta, and thus belonged to the Agiad dynasty, who claimed descent from the hero Heracles. Life According to Herodotus, Leonidas' mother was not only his father's wife but also his niece and had been barren for so long that the ephors, the five annually elected administrators of the Spartan constitution, tried to prevail upon King Anaxandridas to set her aside and take another wife. Anaxandridas refused, claiming his wife was blameless whereupon the ephors agreed to allow him to take a second wife without setting aside his first. This second wife, a descendant of Chilin of Sparta, promptly bore a son, Cleomenes. However, one year after Cleomenes' birth, Anaxandridas' first wife also gave birth to a son, Doryas. Leonidas was the second son of Anaxandridas' first wife, and either the elder brother or twin of Cleombrotus. Because Leonidas was not heir to the throne, he was not exempt from attending the Agoja, the public school education which the sons of all Spartans had to complete in order to qualify for citizenship. Leonidas was thus one of the few Spartan kings to have ever undergone the notoriously harsh training of Spartan youth. Anaxandridas died in 520 BC, and Cleomenes succeeded to the throne sometime between then and 516 BC. Doryas was so outraged that the Spartans had preferred his half-brother over himself that he found it impossible to remain in Sparta. He made one unsuccessful attempt to set up a colony in Africa and, when this failed, sought to his fortune in Sicily where after initial successes he was killed. Leonidas' relationship with his bitterly antagonistic elder brothers is unknown, but he married Cleomen's daughter, Gorgo, sometime before coming to the throne in 490 BC. Leonidas was clearly heir to the Agiad throne and a full citizen at the time of the Battle of Sepea against Targos. Likewise, he was a full citizen when the Persians sought submission from Sparta and met with vehement rejection in or around 492-491 BC. His elder brother the king had already been deposed on grounds of purported insanity, and had fled into exile when Athens sought assistance against the first Persian invasion of Greece, that ended at Marathon. Plutarch has recorded the following, when someone said to him, Except for being king you are not at all superior to us, Leonidas son of Anaxandridas and brother of Cleomenes replied, but were I not better than you, I should not be king, as the product of the Agoja. Leonidas is unlikely to have been referring to his royal blood alone but rather suggesting that he had, like his brother Doryas, proven superior capability in the competitive environment of Spartan training and society, and that he believed this made him qualified to rule. Leonidas was chosen to lead the combined Greek forces determined to resist the second Persian invasion of Greece in 481 BC. This was not simply a tribute to Sparta's military prowess. The probability that the coalition wanted Leonidas personally for his capability as a military leader is underlined by the fact that just two years after his death, the coalition preferred Athenian leadership to the leadership of either Leotychidas or Leonidas' successor Pausanias. The rejection of Leotychidas and Pausanias was not a reflection on Spartan arms. Sparta's military reputation had never stood in higher regard, nor was Sparta less powerful in 478 BC than it had been in 481 BC. This selection of Leonidas to lead the defense of Greece against Xerxes' invasion led to Leonidas' death in the Battle of Thermopylae in 480 BC. Battle of Thermopylae Upon receiving a request from the confederated Greek forces to aid in defending Greece against the Persian invasion, Sparta consulted the oracle at Delphi. The oracle is said to have made the following prophecy in hexameter verse. For you, inhabitants of wide wade Sparta, either your great and glorious city must be wasted by Persian men, or if not that, then the bound of Lacedaemon must mourn a dead king from Heracles' line. 
The might of bulls or lions will not restrain him with opposing strength, for he has the might of Zeus. I declare that he will not be restrained until he utterly tears apart one of these. In August 480 BC, Leonidas went out to meet Xerxes' army at Thermopylae with a small force of 300 men, where he was joined by forces from other Greek city-states, who put themselves under his command to form an army of 14,000 strong. There are various theories on why Leonidas was accompanied by such a small force of hoplites. According to Herodotus, the Spartans sent the men with Leonidas on ahead so that the rest of the allies would see them and march with no fear of defeat, instead of medizing like the others if they learned that the Spartans were delaying. After completing their festival Carnea, they left their garrison at Sparta and marched in full force towards Thermopylae. The rest of the allies planned to do likewise, for the Olympiad coincided with these events. They accordingly sent their advance guard. Not expecting the war at Thermopylae to be decided so quickly, many modern commentators are unsatisfied with this explanation and point to the fact that the Olympic Games were in progress or impute internal dissent and intrigue. Whatever the reason Sparta's own contribution was just 300 Spartiates. The total force assembled for the defense of the pass of Thermopylae came to something between four and seven thousand Greeks. They faced a Persian army who had invaded from the north of Greece under Xerxes I. Herodotus stated that this army consisted of over two million men. Modern scholars consider this to be an exaggeration and give estimates ranging from 70,000 to 300,000. Xerxes waited four days to attack, hoping the Greeks would disperse. Finally, on the fifth day the Persians attacked. Leonidas and the Greeks repulsed the Persians' frontal attacks for the fifth and sixth days, killing roughly 20,000 of the enemy troops. The Persian elite special forces unit known to the Greeks as the Immortals was held back, and two of Xerxes' brothers died in battle. On the seventh day, a Malian Greek traitor named Ephoraltes led the Persian general Hydans by a mountain track to the rear of the Greeks. The thespians stayed entirely of their own will, declaring that they would not abandon Leonidas and his followers. Their leader was Demophilus, son of Diadromes, and as Herodotus writes, hence they lived with the Spartans and died with them. One theory provided by Herodotus is that Leonidas sent away the remainder of his men because he cared about their safety. The king would have thought it wise to preserve those Greek troops for future battles against the Persians, but he knew that the Spartans could never abandon a post on the battlefield. The soldiers who stayed behind were to protect their escape against the Persian cavalry. Herodotus himself believed that Leonidas gave the order because he perceived the allies to be out of heart and unwilling to encounter the danger to which his own mind was made up. He therefore chose to dismiss all troops except the Thespians and Helots and save the glory for the Spartans. Of the small Greek force, attacked from both sides, all were killed except for the Thebans, who surrendered. Leonidas was killed, but the Spartans retrieved his body and protected it. Herodotus says that Xerxes' orders were to have Leonidas' head cut off and put on a stake and his body crucified. This was considered sacrilegious. Legacy. Antiquity A hero cult of Leonidas survived at Sparta until the Antonine era. Thermopylae Monument A monument to Leonidas was erected at Thermopylae in 1955. It features a bronze statue of Leonidas. A sign, under the statue, reads simply, Mu Omicron Lambda Omega Nu Lambda Alpha Beta Epsilon, which the Spartans said when the Persians asked them to put down their weapons at the start of the Battle of Thermopylae. Another statue, also with the inscription Mu Omicron Lambda Omega Nu Lambda Alpha Beta Epsilon, was erected at Sparta in 1968. Modern in the U.S. Army, the 5th Squadron, 73rd Cavalry Regiment, 82nd Airborne Division, with a detachment of 300 men, known as Task Force 300 and led by then LTCOL Andrew Poppers of Greek ancestry. 
was chosen to bolster the defenses of Bakuba in the Diyala River Valley, Iraq and led a series of battles named after Greek city-states. A fiberglass replica of the Leonidas statue stands at the traffic circle marking the east end of Artillery Road in Fort Polk's maneuver box. The site of U.S. Army Joint Readiness Training Center rotations. JRTC's motto is Forging the Warrior Spirit. The statue stands south of a former artillery observation bunker known as the War Memorial, where painted logos of various units that have passed through the rotation there. These include two separate Army Brigade combat teams of the 25th Infantry Division that call themselves Spartans. Literature Leonidas was the name of an epic poem written by Richard Glover, which originally appeared in 1737. It went on to appear in four other editions, being expanded from nine books to twelve. He is a central figure in Stephen Pressfield's novel Gates of Fire. He appears as the protagonist of Frank Miller's 1998 comic book series 300, as it presents a fictionalized version of Leonidas and the Battle of Thermopylae. So does the 2007 feature film adapted from it. Helena P. Schrader has produced a three-part biographical novel on Leonidas. Leonidas of Sparta, a boy of the Agoja, Wheatmark, Tucson, 2010 ISBN 9781-60494-474-7 Leonidas of Sparta, a peerless beer, Wheatmark, Tucson, 2011 ISBN 9781-60494-602-4 and Leonidas of Sparta, a heroic king. Film and cinema, Leonidas has been portrayed by Richard Egan in the 1962 epic The 300 Spartans, Gerard Butler in the 2007 film 300, inspired by the graphic novel of the same name by Frank Miller and Lynn Varley. Taylor Neitzel portrayed Leonidas as a young man. Voice actors for foreign dubs include Tylo Schmitz and Georgina Carter. Scott Byrne in the 2007 spoof United 300. Sean McGuire in the 2008 spoof Meet the Spartans.